<laughs> Yo. Well, guys, finally did it. Finally was able to get a full route done in the whole sea. I don't know if you guys follow the game as much as I do, but if you would see, the whole sea came in 320, kind of broken, but we were able to get a full route in, baby. And come close, come close. Let me show you exactly where it is. All right, so we are at Hurston right now. We are going to pick up some iron and take that over to Crusader, sell some of it, pick up another commodity and take that over to Microtech. But before we get into this big trucking route, roll that beautiful intro. Alright guys, here we are at the commodities window. We're gonna take oh they got fifteen thousand iron. Let's do it. Uh, I shouldn't take the whole thing, but yeah, fourteen one point four million for some iron. That is a pretty big hefty buy-in. But uh yeah, we're doing it for the science. Let's go. Alright, head back to the ship. Which way? Alright. Oh, well, there she is, man. Huh, that gets me every time. Well, you know, 320 has had a pretty rough launch as of late. So I want to see if we could at least get one full route out here with the Hull C. Haven't really had too much experience with it, you know? Tried it a lot in the PTU. It seemed to work sometimes, but in live, it's been some issues. Okay, let's get out of here. Undocking. Let's go, baby. So, have you guys had a chance to uh, try the whole sea out? How do you guys like it so far? I, you know, Thank you. this is a f one truck. I mean, the one thing they got right is like, this is this is how it's gonna feel when you're going system to system, long haul trucking. You know what I mean? I can't wait for for the day where. We're loading up our ship to go inter system. I love when the spindles come out, man. It's so amazing. We all oh, look at that. We have two other whole seas out there as well. Oh, busy night. Hopefully, the cargo loads up well and uh, all goes as planned. We'll find out. Fingers crossed. Where is my loading deck over here? Don't see it. All right, so it took some time. We got a deck. We got a we got a cargo loading area. If you don't know, guys, the whole C, of course, is the newest thing added to uh, Star Citizen, and you have to actually go and have your cargo put on the ship. A lot of people think that it's extra step, unnecessary, but I love it. I mean, this really truly makes you feel like you are long haul trucking, baby. You know, big trucking out here, man. And this is just a placeholder. This is the first, its first iteration of instant cargo, and I think it's gonna have to be pretty soon that this is gonna be totally different, guys. If you've seen the previous, recently they came out with the roadmap roundup, and it looks like for a 320.x patch, we're gonna have the Argo SUV out there so SRV I believe and that's gonna have ship tractor beams so maybe just maybe the tractor beams will be on the whole sea and we'll be loading the cargo ourselves fingers crossed I hope but again I think it's gonna be also a way for you to do it automated as well I don't think you're gonna have to load it if you don't want to load it but I want to try and use those tractor beams okay we're full 
Let's get out of here. Yeah, they're really quick to initiate your ship to storage. You gotta get out as soon as you're done loading. Yeah, but I don't know. How do you guys feel about the new way cargo is gonna load up? Do you feel like the 320.x is gonna be? It's gonna be in the next month or so. So the Ar Argo SRV is gonna be here soon. Hopefully, I'm saying it right. It's gonna be here soon, and with it will be ship tractor beams. Hopefully. All right, so let's head over to Seraphim, and we're gonna do some cargo over there, unload some, and pick us some up as well. Where is the marker? There's Crusader. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let me just line up. I really love the new Quantum HUDs. It's clean, it's basic. Just put the X on the mark. Something's blocking me? What is blocking? Okay, no, we're good there. All right. Here we go. Man, that's a lot of cargo. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We are big haul trucking, baby. This is almost like shipping containers. Not even just trucking. This is shipping, baby. Here we go. So much cargo. 4,608 to be exact. Okay, we're pulling up to Crusader now. I can see it in the distance. One thing, guys, if you have this ship, make sure. Upgrade your quantum drive. You'll thank me later. The one that comes with, I think the Kana, is so slow, unbearably slow. This will be good for, uh, you know, long hauls because it's very fuel efficient. So that's probably why they give it to you. If you can take the, the slowness, you know, you'll be lasting longer because the fuel rarely gets eaten. But while we're here in Stanton, you might want to upgrade it. All right. Okay, pulling up to Seraphim Station. All right, this is the station here, fellas, that is replacing Port O. As you uh, cannot see, it's pretty much nighttime here, pitch black. But yeah, this is Port O's replacement. I wish it was daytime <laughs> so we could see it. But I am not God, and I cannot control the sun. Oh, man, guys. I don't know if you could see. It looks like both the docks are taken right now. There's an 890 over there, and there's a whole C on the other side. And they're both docked up right now. I think there's only two docking ports here. At, this, at all stations, there's only two docking ports. They need to definitely add more. Oh, well, I don't know how long they're going to last here, so we might have to find another way in. Luckily, I know a little trick over here at these landing pads. We could just pull up right there like a regular dock. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, perfect. Just like it's a ship. Maybe uh, pull it a little bit tighter. Well, it is a ship. You know what I mean. All right, let's go. Let's see how this works. Okay, woo, jumping right over, perfect. Stuck the landing and everything. All right, my ship door doesn't close, all right, whatever. Let's just get this done, try and be as quick as possible. Okay, I wonder if he's the guy in the whole sea. Or the girl, whatever. All right, whole sea. We're looking to sell some iron. Oh, they only take a thousand. All right, whatever. We're gonna sell some more at Port Tressler. Uh, we can't take any copper. I mean, we're gonna take hydrogen actually, but we can't take, I guess we gotta unload the ship first before we buy. That's an extra step that I wasn't expecting. Okay, guys, we're going over to the, oh, look at that, another hull C. Man, it is hull C busy tonight. Everybody's out here trying to move their cargo. We're big, big hull trucking out here, man. Look at that, we got ourselves a convoy. Where'd he go? I think, hopefully, it looks like he's going over to my loading area. Oh, look at that. Over in the distance as well, there's another hull seat. There's two of them over there. Guess everybody's trying to get out their new toy. How do you guys feel about the hull seat, though? I mean, I think it's more for the future. Right now, it's not in the best state, of course. I understand. But this is really about the future. I guess with everything in Star Citizen, right? 
All right, he stopped. He, I think he noticed this is my loading area. Perfect. All right, we're doing some trucking logistics out here. He's gonna have to wait behind me patiently. This is my dock. All right, let's see. It's so dark. Are they starting to take off? I can't really tell. Usually the green will go away when they start. Oh no, they're taking off, I see it. Okay, perfect. We're working. So they're only gonna take off a thousand. And then I guess we're gonna head back in so I can pick up some other stuff for our next stop. Usually guys, it takes about five minutes to load up the hull C from empty to full. I don't mind it too well. We're just sitting out here, you know, like I said, it makes you feel like you're a shipping container out here at the at the longshoreman dock. A lot of people are gonna be put away from the tedium of Star Citizen, but hey, it goes in with the immersion. It's either you uh, want flash reflexes or you want the immersion. Like, look at this. This is why we truck, baby. We're about to have a sunrise out here. Looking good. All right, let's head back in. Luckily this time I was able to get a docking collar. It looked like the other whole seas left. Well, there was three of them flying over to the cargo station. So one of them had to have been from this docking point. But here we are. Looks like I got a little blemish on the front. Maybe I got hit with an asteroid. Little, little meteorite. Okay, coming in for a dock. I love this thing. I don't know about you guys, but this is so cool to me. I love docking with the stations. Oh, amazing. All right, guys. Let's uh, sell some more iron. Hopefully, they take a little bit more. 163 SU. All right. Well, it's better than nothing. And for the rest of the stop, I'm going to take uh, copper. No, I think I want to take hydrogen. Hydrogen is, uh, is sold over at Port Tressler as well. So let's take the hydrogen and the iron to Port Tressler and finish this route up. Let's go get loaded up, boys. Okay. Just like I expected, we're going to have a sunrise, man. This is why you truck to get the scenery just like this. All right, let me go. Docking has had a little bit of an issue as well in 320. But there's some workarounds. Eventually, they let you go. Okay, let's head over to our cargo pod, cargo station. Beautiful. And there goes our sunrise. Beautiful. I don't know about you guys, but... <laughs> so great. No, nothing, nothing immerses you as much as Star Citizen. When it works! When it works. Huge caveat. But man, for moments just like this, just nice little slow strolls over to your loading station as you're greeted with views such as this one. Boom. Oh man, look at that, guys. Amazing. Amazing. As we hover over a gas giant loading our cargo. All right, so they're gonna take off another 163 SEU of iron and they're gonna add in some helium. Or is it hydrogen? Sorry, they're gonna add in hydrogen. So right now, the whole sea is pretty much just station to station uh, shipping, which is how it should be. I think in the future, the loading times probably are going to take a lot longer, especially if you opt in to load with the, the, yourself with the tractor beams. But if you don't, it should add in. I, I mean, I swear, hopefully with the new economy, like you can also do station to like moon shipping or station to planetary shipping while you wait. Because it's going to take a long time to load up this cargo, even if you want to do the automated route. All right, for our last leg of our journey, we're going to head over to Microtech. And finish up this little loop here, this three-stop, this three-stop trade route. Again, guys, 
trading in the whole sea, you're not going to break the bank. You're going to make maybe 200000 per drop, you know, once you uh, offload all your cargo. Really, it's more about, like I said, trucking and seeing the views. And make sure you get yourself a good quantum drive to take away from these long jumps. Kana is so slow. All right. No joke, guys. That literally took like 16 minutes to make this jump. I'm, I think while we're over here, I'm going to stop down at New Babbage and buy myself a faster uh, quantum drive while I'm here. Because this one is no good. I can't make that jump again. Here we are. Port Tressler. Coming up to the docking collar. And hopefully we can unload everything we have here. If not, we're going to have to make one more stop at our court. But I'm pretty sure we can offload all the iron. They take a lot of iron here. Not like uh, over there at Crusader. Also, we are broadcasting at 4K with HDR. I don't know if you guys were able to try out the new HDR they added in 320. And it is super dark. <laughs> Look at this thing. But... I think space is pops. Look how many stars are out there. Like, the contrast is really great. I don't know if you really get to see it on YouTube, but, man, I'm, I'm loving the HDR. It's, it's dark, but, I mean, space is dark, right? And then the bright is so bright. Look at the sun. Look at the difference between the sun and the ship. That's some high dynamic range. Okay. Selling all our stuff here. We're looking for the hull C. We're going to sell our hydrogen first for 132k. Not much, not much. But they also take all the iron here, I believe. We should sell it for at least, yeah, okay. 1.16 million here. Like I said, guys, you're not really going to break the bank, but you're doing it for the ride. Oh, the door is closed, huh? I got out here real quick. At least I know nobody's on my ship, right? Man, look at that. Look at that. That is, oh, that is so cool, man. See a ship docked, like actually docked. Like, that's a ship I could just undock and go fly somewhere. But it's part of the station right now. <laughs> All right, here's our cargo station. We're going to unload everything over here. And wrap this one up. Okay. Hopefully everything is working well. It looks like oh they wanna they wanna scan my cargo. Scan away, officer. I'm not doing anything illegal. Alright, and the cargo is offloading. Perfect. Beautiful. Big haul trucking, man. This is what it's about. This is what it's about. But that's all I got for you guys today on this long haul trucking route. If you find this video informative and entertaining, don't forget to smash that like button and share it with your fellow star citizens. And if you haven't already, subscribe and join the Discord community. Don't forget, guys, leave a comment down below. Have you been able to try out the whole C? How are you liking these routes? Do you uh, like the new loading and un unloading mechanics? I mean, I'm liking it. I don't mind it. It's definitely immersive to me. I'm a Euro truck driving kind of guy. I can't wait for the future of this ship. It makes me excited. I'm telling you, station to station shipping and inter-system shipping. Once we get a dynamic economy, oh, it's going to be beautiful. But yeah, I'm going to leave you guys there. Wait for all my cargo to unload. And that's about to do it, man. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Y'all know what to do already. And I'll see you in the verse. Peace.